Today's live stream is brought to you by Cyberry.it. If you're looking for IT training, more specifically geared to cybersecurity, check out the link in the description below for Cyberry.it. Use the coupon code ITCQ50 to save 50% off your premium membership. Yo, what's up, YouTube? How y'all doing today? We're just doing uh, an, an AMA today, and ask me anything. So, if you guys have questions about IT, getting into IT, or, I don't know, anything else, well, let's do it. I want to help you guys out. That's, you know, that's what this channel is all about. Let me help you. And hello to everybody in the chat. How are you guys doing today? Let's talk. Let's chat. Kev runs on Duncan. What's up? Megalodon, what's up? Uh, Christian Honeywells, what's up? And Allie, what is going on? How to get a job in Google through IT. Well, you want to work at Google, eh? You got to be the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. Not really. Uh, well, there, there's, <laughs> I, there's a long process there. And uh, there's been a few developer YouTubers like uh, who do programming and things like that who have worked for Google. Um, I can't remember the dude's name. I wish I could. I know I'm subscribed to him. But he worked at Google and he did a video about uh, how he got the job. But there's a big process involved there. Uh, there's many interviews. You really do have to be at the top of your game. They are definitely looking for very smart, talented people who think outside the box. Because uh, with, with Google, I mean, that's a huge company, right? They're doing a lot of things over there. A lot of things that we don't even know about. And I put a video out about the other day. They're stealing all of our data, right? So they're doing, they're doing cool things and bad things at the same time. But... Honestly, tech lead, if I see Kevin's on Duncan here, what's up, bro? I love you. you. You always come in with the answers. So look up tech lead on YouTube because I'm pretty positive he did a video on uh, how you can, like, I think he just going through the interview process at Google, I think he's probably done a few videos about working at Google. So I, I check that out. But there's no clear path, right? There's, there's definitely not a clear path there. It, it's, it's one of those things that, I think many times people get lucky, but I mean, without proper certifications, experience even, it, it's gonna be hard. If you're in college, um, I, I, I know Google works, I think, with some colleges where they do internships and things like that. Um, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, uh, yo, Dark Horse and Francisco, how y'all doing? Uh, Rajat, I'm not even gonna, Try to pronounce your last name there. Uh, how to start a career in cybersecurity? Well, first of all, what area of cybersecurity do you want to work in? You know, what, what interests you the most about cybersecurity? Cybersecurity is such a broad term; it really covers a lot. So, uh, there, there's many different job roles in cybersecurity. So, if you want to start in that in, in that field, the best thing that I could tell you guys is to start with something like the Security Plus from CompTIA. It's just a well-rounded certification that helps open up many different aspects of security. It's also a certification that many uh, businesses are looking for for their security professionals. So that would be like one place that I would start, but really trying to figure out what it is that you want to do. You know, it, it's, there, there's no you know, cut and paste method that I could tell you that will work for you because everybody's path into IT Everybody's path into cybersecurity uh, is so completely different from one another. But honestly, getting your foot into an IT job is going to be the first step, right? Like, it doesn't matter what that job is, what position you are, getting into IT is that first step because experience is going to be huge. So if you're looking to gear up towards cybersecurity, start off entry-level position. I've said this many times before, but it'll really help give you many of the foundational skills, knowledge, of enterprise environments, how they work and operate. And that experience is going to be huge for you, quite honestly. And then from there, you can kind of start working your way uh, towards more security related um, issues and, and, and things like that, projects even. So if you get foot, if you step foot into an entry level job and they have a security team, I would suggest that you reach out to that security team, express your interests and you know, say, hey, if there's anything I could do to help you guys or shadow you, because I really want to get more experience, more knowledge, make sure you try to do that also. 
Uh, let's see. What's going on, Ahmed? Uh, Christium Honeywells. What is your opinion on the job outlook between cloud or cybersecurity, and what makes more sense to go into between AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform? Well, I could tell you that AWS is just crushing the market right now. AWS seems like it's everywhere, but there are definitely many organizations that use Azure as well. I honestly don't hear much about Google Cloud Platform as being used, but I mean, AWS is really, AWS, they are the cloud king, if you will. Um, so that being said, it would make more sense to go probably AWS. Uh, unless you have an opportunity in a Microsoft environment where they're utilizing Azure very heavily. The, now, Outlook between the two of them, I mean, the cloud, you hear about the cloud all the, like every day. You hear about cloud and cybersecurity almost everywhere you look. So at that point, you know, neither of those are going anywhere, you're right? The, like those are areas within the field that are pretty solid. They have a great foundation to them right now. And that doesn't mean it, you know, it could change tomorrow. But it, it, when you're trying to figure out what you want to do, it, you have to really look in between those two and see which it, like you would enjoy more. Um, that, that's all on you. I can't tell you like which is better. You know, like for me personally, I can tell you, but my personal opinion almost doesn't matter because at the end of the day, like I'm not doing the job, you're doing the job. So look into what um, like cloud practitioners and uh, uh, people like that do look at, at different cybersecurity roles and the types of things that they do on their day to day. See which one you would enjoy more. See which one sounds, you know, it sounds like something that you would like to do. Uh, the Blast Man Twenty One. You want to become, uh, you want to become work for IT. And after high school, what should I go for? Degrees and then certifications or something different. Uh, the Blast Man Twenty One. Everybody's path into IT is different. It's uh, honestly it's so different. You can choose to go to college, that's great. You can choose to get certifications. At the end of the day, like the most important thing that, that, that's gonna matter is your experience. The degrees, the certifications will help get you into an entry level job. A degree is something that's great for uh, maybe a specific, um, uh, like a specific job that you're trying to, to work for. So if there's like a specific company you wanna work for and they require a degree, well, then you're going to have to get a degree. If you want to eventually work in management or above, like be a director or anything like that of IT, uh, you're going to want to have to have, you're going to want a degree. Uh, those are definitely very hard requirements many times uh, for management and above types of positions. Uh, certifications are a great way just to, you know, help get your foot in the door. They're a great way to uh, show that you're knowledgeable in a specific area. But again, it, there, there's no cut and dry type of method that you can use. There's nothing, you know, there, the, everybody that I've talked to has had a different way that they've gotten to this field. So I would say that there's no right, uh, there's no right way. I'm sure there's plenty of wrong ways to go about it, but uh, there's no right way to do it. Allie, how to be good at Magic the Gathering Arena 101. Well, I, I started putting videos out. <laughs> I started recording videos of me playing Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, and I've been putting them on another channel. I've recorded a bunch of videos uh, so far, and I'm still not good at Magic. I've been playing Magic since I was like eight or nine years old. Uh, so like over 20 years, almost almost 30 years, really, if I look at it that way. Oh, that's scary. Uh, that's because I had an older brother. But yeah, uh, I'm still not good at Magic. I'm still a scrub. But it is a lot of fun. I really, really do enjoy Magic the Gathering. And when World of Warcraft Classic comes out, you guys won't see me for like at least a week unless you follow my other channels that I will be streaming my progress from. I'm super stoked for uh, WoW Classic. It's, I, I hope that I have the same feels that I did back when I first played it, what, over 10 years ago at this point. Um, when it was just completely vanilla base, there's no expansions, right? Like, I, I hope I like the nostalgia is real. I'm super pumped for it. Uh, and Kush, hey, you are part of my YouTube family. When it was 34k, oh my goodness, that was like last year. About last year, I think. Yeah, that's awesome. 
Thank you for being a subscriber for that long. Please break some common IT career myths and stress busters. Thank you so much. Can you be more specific on that? What what career myths and stress busters are you like thinking? Like I I guess I just need a little bit more info from you to answer that question. Let me uh let's do this. Pow! pow. All right. Look at that. Let me put this background up though. Um, Thanks. Yeah. Oh, all right. Look at that. Ooh, that's kind of freaky. There we go. I don't think I like that either. That doesn't make sense either, does it? I need to resize this chat window to fit inside the TV. Hold up, y'all, because I got to do this. Let me do this with, we'll say... Oh, this will be legit if this works out. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Ooh, it's going to be so nice. Sorry, I had to adjust that. Anyway, back to back to you guys. My head is, somebody say something in the chat real quick. My head is cut off. I know, it's because I'm, I'm using, using the thing. Why isn't the chat loading now? That would be my luck that the chat stops working. Let me see if I can refresh this. Oh, there it goes. Sweet. All right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, that's kind of cool. I feel I feel kind of excited about this. I sound distant. I am a little bit distant. Hello. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing fantastic. I hope you are as well. I just, I don't want this thing to show in the, the camera, so it's it's it's, it's kind of it's kind of far. I'm sorry. Look at see, like there's no there's no good way to do it. I gotta keep it kind of far away. I'm sorry. I apologize. You guys are probably getting so mad at all those crazy sounds right now. Anyway, let's get back to some questions. So I want to help you guys. Let's see where I left off. Dark Horse, how to be cybersecurity consultant like the lady in your previous video. Man, I, I when it, like the start of this video, I kind of answered that like with cybersecurity because it's just so different. Um, hit me up on LinkedIn. I have out of probably hundreds, if not a thousand contacts with people who work in cybersecurity. So you can start uh, paying attention to the things that I'm posting and like watch the people who comment who are security related because uh, they, they're definitely very helpful. Um, but like, the, like I said, there's no clear path. You just have to get your foot in the door. That's step number uno. That's, that's one. Sean B., you're probably trying to link an article, and I can't see it. It's getting blocked. Uh, Rajat, should you take the CompTIA A+, before Security+, Plus? Uh, that's all on you? I don't know your current uh, knowledge of IT. I took my Security+, Plus. Security+, Plus was the first certification that I achieved in the 17 years I've worked in this field, and I failed it the first time. I don't know. Would the, would the A plus have helped me? No, it would, definitely would not have helped me. But everybody's different. Uh, if you haven't stepped foot into the field yet, uh, I would say get an A plus and then get your security plus. Traggy X, you don't know anything about computers or any IT related stuff, but you always find yourself trying to learn IT, but you don't even know where to start. Start with the CompTIA A plus. And if I can find this video for you, which would be pretty cool if I can find it like relatively quickly, I just put out a video on this. I also um, have to plug my own stuff here because you know, part of what I do. Um, let's see, is the audio okay though? Please let me know if the audio is okay. Anyway, uh, getting started, started in IT, I created this course, um, uh, how to get an entry level job in IT. Uh, it's like chapter by chapter, we walk you through ways that you can gain an advantage to getting into IT. So utilizing your resume, um, utilizing just home labs. There's, there's many different things that we go over here that can really help make a huge difference for you. So check out that the link I just put in the chat, itcq.tv. Make sure you put the www 
because it's very important. But um, that can help walk you through the process. I, I, I want to pull up this other this video that I did not too long ago because um, I think that that's pretty helpful towards your question. Let me see. I'm scrolling through my videos right now. It's always a process. Might have been this one. Top four tips to get an IT career in 2019. Could have been that one. I'll link it in the chat. But I have many videos where I kind of talk about that spe uh, specific uh, question. There you go. All right. Well, let me see. Next question. Do I use Linux for anything? I use Linux for my personal benefit only. Um, I'm not utilizing it uh, the way I would like to currently, but I do plan on utilizing my NAS to install a couple different uh, Linux VMs. And um, hope, like basically I wanna set up like a, a web server almost from the NAS, I wanna try it. And I'll try a couple different things with it, but Linux, Really to learn, and I know it's somebody else posted a Linux question in here too. The best way I think to really get familiar and utilize Linux is to make it your daily driver. Now you don't necessarily really have to use it every single day, although I think making it your daily driver would be, yeah, I, I, it'd be helpful. I did that for like two weeks straight. Um, there's, there's just some things that Linux doesn't have that I need, like, you know, Adobe Premiere would be really nice. Linux, if anybody's out there listening about Linux. Adobe Premiere would be legit. But uh, yeah, I'm not utilizing Linux too much. Uh, Darren, I'm not even gonna try your name, but what kind of skills information technology students should develop in their future? Um, well, if you're a student currently, you're learning about IT, but things that you can do outside of that is trying to develop soft skills, customer service skills, so you can maybe get a part-time job, working with um, like any type of customer service facing role. So go work at McDonald's, go work at Walmart. Um, get some experience in that way under your belt because it will be helpful. You do have to talk to people working in IT. I think many, for a long time, and even still, like there's this misconception that when you work in IT, you're in the basement, well, Sometimes that is true. You do work in the basement sometimes. Um, you do have to face your customers, uh, your end users, one-on-one. -on -one. So that would be beneficial for you. Also, building your own home lab. You know, you don't have to go out and buy anything, although you can get routers and switches for dirt cheap on Craigslist. Um, utilize virtual machines. Download VirtualBox, download uh, VMware, Virtualize some some operating systems. Create a domain controller. Get familiar with Active Directory. That's huge. Paul News, what are the benefits of subbing to my channel? Well, the benefits are you get to watch videos from me and I make cool videos sometimes. Uh, you get to ask questions about getting into IT. You get to learn about different IT related things. So we cover, I try to cover as much technology as I can, but it's, it's almost impossible to cover everything. So the benefits would be, I don't know, do whatever you want. I'm, I'm not here to sell you. I'm here to help you. That's, that's the best answer I can give. I'm not going to sell myself. I'm just helping you. If you want help, subscribe. If you don't want help, don't subscribe. Looks like I got a super chat. I got to get to that. William Murray, thank you very, very much for the super chat. I greatly appreciate that, bro. I'm answering your question right now. In a situation where your current role pays really well, but no... Hang on. I got to move this window because it's driving me nuts. I apologize. I'm going to redo it. I'm a little bit wired today. I think I had too much coffee. Sorry. Uh, so anyway, William, uh, in, a situ in a situation where your current role 
pays really well, but no growth, stifling technology-wise, and a senior network role at MSP with great room for growth and development, but less pay. Now, yeah, that's always a hard one, right? Because if you can afford to take a pay cut, having a different role, maybe even like it sounds like it'll probably be a higher, higher level role, will be greatly helpful for you in your future. Now you're making kind of, you're not even making a lateral move. You're really, what you're doing is you're making a, 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 um, uh, a job change that will definitely benefit you in the future. So while it's not going to help you immediately or really in the next two years, it, having that experience, having that job title even under your belt is going to be greatly helpful to expand your career further. So if you can afford the pay cut, take the role. If, if, it, if you are, you know, if you're not growing where you're at, if the technology is just outdated, right, and they're not, they can't afford to update it, get out. You know, there, there's no harm necessarily in doing that. Do, do what makes, you know, I know you're asking me for help, right? You're asking me for advice, but ultimately, like, you have to, like, do what makes you happy, right? And if you're not happy where you're at, get out. Because the longer you stay in a position where you aren't happy and it's not fulfilling your needs, you start spiraling down this negativity that nobody needs in their life. So make that change. Do it. Keep looking for different jobs even. I hope that helps. I, I really do. Um, trying to keep up with the chat. You guys are like on fire. Trying to, oh my goodness. I sound distant, a lot of background. Okay, I think we talked about that. William, I'm sorry I didn't see your question. I'm trying to get to everybody's questions. The super chats I, I'm going to get to right away, so not trying to tell you guys to give me super chats but if you want to be answered right away give me a buck i don't know i'll, I'll try to answer you like asap but i'm literally like going through this entire chat i've scrolled so far up to try to get to all these questions that you guys have um, i'm doing my best here i'm doing my best uh let's see what are my other channels uh so i have I have like a few different other channels, man. I can't really link them all. The one isn't necessarily ready yet, but you could go like youtube.com slash Zachies. There's that one. Uh, there's youtube.com slash learn cyber security. There's that one. Uh, yeah. You guys, I'm going to put a video out soon where we talk about other stuff. Illist, what's going on? IT career skills. What's up, bro? Illist, you're 16 years of age and you want to do IT. Do it, bro. You're 16. Start getting certifications. Rock it. The, the, the TV idea is next level. I know. I'm pretty excited about the TV and the chat. I think that was uh, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Me nerding out right now. Matt J. So you just started classes at uh, community college. So many class options. Cisco, MS, Linux, security, programming. What do you think is best... Excuse me. Uh, what do you think is best for an area without big businesses? We have hospitals, college, local government. Bro, you got to look around that local area and see what they're looking for. Um, programming, like if you want to get into programming, there are always jobs out there for programming. Always. Like every time, because uh, I, I sign up for Indeed to get uh, updates so I can just keep up to date with things. And programming is one of the, like any type of programming or development job, like get notifications for that always jobs like there's jobs in my area i live in a very rural area but it seems like at least once or twice a month there are job postings uh for some type of programming or developer but as far as you know answering this question in full uh honestly you have to do what you want to do like I i've said this so many times i could tell you that Cisco is great, Microsoft's great, Linux is great, security is great, programming is great. Th those are all great options for you. But you ultimately have to choose what it is that you're going to enjoy the most. Uh, Amrit Ariel, how should you get started in learning Linux? Download VirtualBox, virtualize any Linux distribution you decide you would like to go with and start from there. 
Like the, the first step is actually installing Linux. That's the first step. Getting onto a Linux machine. Get familiar with it. Get familiar with, with the GUI. And then get familiar with the terminal. Because the terminal is going to be huge for anybody who wants to learn Linux. There, there's many tutorials and things out there. But that's how you get started with Linux, is just experiencing it. Let's see. And, and Ali did make a, a great video course on learning Linux. That's on the Learn Cybersecurity channel. Uh, PVP boy, do I think the modern routers in people's home will disappear in five to 10 years and everyone using 5G, 6G for everything except business? Um, no. I mean, maybe, right? Probably, I was thinking for myself and not thinking broad, because uh, I will always have some type of router in my house for, for many reasons. <coughs> Excuse me. But that's not something that I'm currently up to date on. I know 5G, 6G, 12G, whatever, all the Gs. Once, the, once everything starts really happening with that and starts being deployed on a uh, larger you know, scale, we'll really start to see, you know, it'll really start to take hold what we're gonna be able to accomplish with those technologies. DevOps is great, Lee. Jack Eller, how useful is Security Plus? Security Plus is useful whether you are looking to get into security or not. It's a great certification that will really help, you know, well round you on many different areas within security. It doesn't hyper focus into anything specifically, but it's one of those certifications that it's great to have the knowledge from it, and it's also great to have on your resume. Corky Jet 86 hi there. You want to specialize in cybersecurity? Your wife is in the Navy and you would like to follow her when she moves. Do you think that it's going to be difficult to find a remote job in cybersecurity? I don't think so. I, you should not have a problem. Um, but you're, you're going to want to get experience on site before you try to do anything remote. Uh, I don't suggest anybody start off in IT in a remote job. If you somehow got that opportunity, which I kind of doubt anybody would, it there's you need to be hands-on for a while like going remote is great for people who have a couple years of experience in the field but just starting out i would not even try to go remote uh and then you have a just uh 10 years in it specialist experience csent ccna security plus ba degree and aa degree for the past three weeks you can't find a job in infosec why do i think that is well you, you have IT specialist experience, but you don't have anything specifically relating to security. If you've done anything in the past 10 years that has any type of relation to security, you need to make sure you're putting that information on your resume. They're really going to be looking through that resume um, once it kind of gets through the filters and seeing where you have actual uh, security experience, because that will help. Uh, so make sure you're putting that on your resume and just apply for everything. It, sometimes it takes time. It's not. It's never an easy process to get a job. Uh, Noah, you need an internship for class next semester to graduate. What should you start looking into? Contact your school. See if they have any internships available. Utilize your school's resources to reach out to other businesses and see if any internships are available. Start getting on Indeed.com. Start getting on K12JobSpot.com. Look up any types of internships that, you, that could be in your area. And cold call. Even though I hate cold calling, cold call the businesses in your area and ask them if they have any you know, opportunities available. Say, hey, I'm in school. I need to do an internship. Uh, do you need any help in your IT department? I would love to help you. Sometimes you got to put in work because it's never not always is information going to be readily available for you sometimes you have to put in work uh tyree c is it hard to get an it job out of college with just a bachelor's degree uh i could say that it can sometimes be hard to get an it job no matter what no matter how many degrees you have no matter how many certifications you have or how much experience you have it can always be difficult for some people 
so there's no really good answer for you there. Um, it should be a little bit easier for you having a degree because many people are looking for people who have degrees. Um, so it could help you, it could benefit you, but is it hard? I think it's hard on a, on a, on a broad scale for everybody. It's, it's not necessarily easy all the time. I hope that makes sense. Uh, Nelson C, best advice on how to study for the A plus 221,002. Uh, start going through practice exams as much as you possibly can. Uh, utilize like people like IT Pro TV, Cybrary, go through their different labs and things that they have on their A plus uh, core series and uh, just start getting more hands on. Best advice I, I really have though for that is start taking as many practice exams as you can find. <coughs> Uh, the Blast Man 21, when you go out from high school, should you get a Bachelor of Information Tech? Do you think that would be useful? That's all on you, bro. I, a degree is always useful. Is it the best path? Not necessarily. Everybody's path is different. So it, it's up to you at the end of the day. Do you want to go through the degree and have that, 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 that solid, solid did, the, solidify that you have that piece of paper that could be a requirement for some jobs, I mean, that's on you. Uh, let's see. I'm still going through chat, y'all. I'm, oh, Nino, Nino Brown, I missed your, I, I missed a couple of super chats. That's my bad. Let me get these super chats real quick. It didn't, it didn't pop up on my screen for some reason, so I apologize if you sent a super chat, I didn't see it. Um, it, it didn't show up. Uh, so Noah Clink Scales, what certifications should you have to build your resume? Well, it depends on what you're looking to do. Uh, if you're just looking to get your foot in the door, A plus is going to be, uh, A plus is always my go-to certification. So look up CompTIA's A plus certification. That certification, I mean, honestly, it will open up doors for you like you would not believe. And people give, the A plus so much crap. Like they talk so much crap about the certification. It is honestly the very best certification to get to help you get your foot in the door. I'm about to show you not why right meow. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Window picture. There it is. That's what we want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scroll in real, real far here so you guys can see this. If you are A plus certified, there are over 5,000 jobs in the United States looking for people with the A plus certification. That's just on Indeed that they have that listed. Over 5,000 jobs. Everybody is always looking, I feel like, for the A plus certification. So get that, and then if you have another area of interest, start looking at certifications for that. If you want to get into networking, get your CCNA. Uh, Nino Brown Boxing, thank you for the super chat. Vulnerability management tips, advice, resources. Oh, so uh, there's uh, Hackersploit. I would look into his videos. Hackersploit is fantastic. Um, Cybrary has a lot of security related uh, videos and courses over there. Uh, so that's a great resource. IT Pro TV is getting more into security as well. Um, they they kind of talk, uh, maybe not specifically vulnerability, um, but it, it starts broadening and solidifying and, and building that foundation within security. Um, but Hackersploit definitely, um, I, I think it would be a great resource for you. And as well, Live Overflow, that would be another YouTuber to look into as well. Uh, otherwise, you need to start getting on Twitter because Twitter is huge for the cybersec community um, and start following people who are working in security and then you can start asking questions about this and you probably get better answers than I can give you. Uh, following back up with the chat, trying to get everything. Uh, Nels NT, sir, can I ask what are the skills and qualifications of becoming a uh, technical support IT help desk? Uh, well, there's not necessarily skills and qualifications that can get you an entry-level job because 
many times you'll find that people can get entry level jobs in IT with no experience, no degrees, no certifications. Uh, they have great customer service skills, so I guess that would be a great skill to have. Um, building your own home lab, getting some foundational knowledge and understanding of different um, technologies that you can throw on your resume and actually be able to talk about in an interview, that's going to be greatly helpful for you also. Uh, do you really need one plus years of experience for jobs? Uh, I mean, there's some jobs that you definitely need experience for, but for entry level jobs, you don't, you don't need any experience. Uh, camping with cash, any tips from transitioning from tier one help desk to desktop support? Well, you're, I mean, tips would be, I don't think I can really give you a necessarily a tip for that, right? Because if you're at tier one help desk, you're already gaining experience, gaining knowledge. It's really trying to uh, position yourself. If it's in the same company, position yourself for this, this move up. So you're, you're going to be going above and beyond. You're going to be really trying to um, utilize all the technology that you have there and, and understanding it at a better level and expressing interest to the people who, who can help you make that transition. So your managers and directors and things like that. But if you're looking to go from like your current job to a new job at a higher level role, it, it's really having the things that, you're, that you've done in your current position listed on your resume um, that speak speak more clearly to um, more advanced skills, right? I hope that makes sense. Um, other than that, getting certifications, always helpful. Aaron Lofton, what's a good cheap laptop for coding? I honestly, I don't believe in cheap laptops. Uh, cheap laptops are a waste of money. So I can't give you a good recommendation. I just buy whatever the heck you want because at the end of the day, when you are spending less than like $700, $800 on a laptop, you're just going to get crap any way you look at it. Like, that's, just, that's just truth. Uh, Mr. Hazan, I'm not going to try to butcher your first name. I apologize. You said you have a job interview next week for MTA apprenticeship. Any tips? <coughs> Good luck, first of all. But any tips... I mean, quite honestly, you need to be honest during the interview. If you don't know something, be honest about it. Make sure you express the things that you're trying to do to better your knowledge. And uh, th those are going to be the best ones for you, honestly. Uh, you can actually download Linux directly from Windows now. It's crazy, right? What's up with that? Did you know that there's more Linux servers on Azure than Windows? Servers? Isn't that crazy? There's more Linux on Azure than Windows. It's nuts. Linux is everywhere. Uh, Tyrese C., what experience should an IT student do to get experience for someone who wants to do network admin? So start gearing up for your CCNA, first of all. Get your own home lab. So go on Craigslist, buy a used switch, even if only like three ports on it work. Buy a used switch, buy a used router, start getting like knee deep into these technologies, understanding it. You know, it's always good to have that physical device there with you to have a better understanding of it, but you can also virtualize switches and routers and, uh, and learn that way. But you really wanna start getting hands on. Uh, Aaron, do you really need to go to school to be an IT? No, you don't. You don't. Panda, the Explorer, is RHCA certification really worth it? Yes. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep up with the chat, I promise you. Steve Gee, what's up? Oh my gosh, you guys are on fire today with the chat. Uh, let's see. How do I handle the saying, it's not what you know, but who you know? Uh, it's the truth? <laughs> I <laughs> Honestly, like, <laughs> it's so crappy sometimes, but 
at the end of the day, like sometimes it, it really is about who you know. It doesn't matter what you know. Sometimes it's about who you know. It's the truth. Uh, David Moss, do I play any board game? Board games, random I, non-IT questions. Uh, Carcassonne is a board game that I play. I haven't played it in a while, but other than that, I don't play any any board games. Carcassonne is a lot of fun, though. Y'all, let's see. I don't think you have a question there. Sean B., did I hear the news how the company SAIC gave their employees brain dumps to pass the CEH exam? The news just came a few days ago. I did not hear that. That's very disappointing. Uh, excuse me, and upsetting. Uh, it doesn't surprise me. In some, in some way, it, it does surprise me a little bit. I can't believe a company would do that. That's very crappy. Very, very crappy. Diatress. You just joined in. Sorry if this has been asked. Recently got Security Plus. You don't have any work experience at all in IT. What job can you realistic, realistically hope to get? Any type of entry-level role. Any entry-level role. Steve Gee, studying for A-plus right now, using the Cram Master and Professor Messer videos, and you bought a 1001 and 1002 course on Udemy by Mike Myers. Is that enough? Yes, it should be enough. Definitely should be enough. Uh, let's see. Gavin Bug, what's up? You're going to a boot camp next month for Security Plus and Net Plus. Any study tips before you actually attend? Currently watching Professor Messer and Mike uh, Chappell's Security Plus practice test. You're on track. Honestly, like, I, what you're doing now is the best start for you. Jason Rendon, you're a seasoned IT senior systems engineer. Laid off stagnant skills. Now you're transitioning to cloud. It's painful to learn new skills. AWS, Python, Docker suggestions on staying positive. Oh, man, staying positive. I'm having issues with staying positive right now. Like, quite honestly, like, uh, I'm not a very positive person the past couple weeks. So I can understand where you're coming from. The best bit of advice that I can give you is that there's light at the end of the tunnel and keep working towards your goals. You know, th there's not necessarily a anything I could say short term to keep you positive. Just knowing and understanding that all the work that you're doing um, is going to pay off at some point. So keep going forward, keep pushing yourself, and you'll accomplish what it is that you want to do. You'll feel so much better once you do that. And, and just like I said, the light at the end of the tunnel. Activity. Uh, Dietrich, how can you actually get security work experience? Most jobs want uh, tend to want. Uh, tend to want experience. Getting into the IT field should be your number one priority. Don't try to go right into a security job because it's going to be very difficult for you. Start off in help desk or any type of entry level role, gain some experience under your belt. It's really hard to get into security without experience. Is it doable? Yes. How can you start, um, you know, how can you, how can you gain an advantage? How can you better yourself? getting certifications honestly like go out and get your ceh it's going to help you oh uh, let's see yeah i'm, I'm trying to answer but man there's so much in the chat i'm sorry Somebody just sent me an email, so thank you for that email that has a video suggestion. Whoever did that, shout out to you. Dalton T, you have a problem. You've been working towards your CCNA, but now it's changing to something new. You've been looking to get in NetSec is a good field to get into. Yes, you have up until February 20th, I think, of 2020. So February of next year is when the CCNA changes. You have plenty of time right now to get the current CCNA. So do it. Josh McBride, how is IT beneficial to the finance sector and how can it be improved? Uh, security, security, and let me think about this. Yep, security. Honestly, like anytime I hear about IT and financial, I get paranoid, I get worried because it's, it's such a, it's such a 
you know, it's scary. It's definitely scary. Um, <coughs> security. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I should have muted my microphone. That's my bad. Uh, Alondro, what the best? What is the best paying job if you like networking, hardware, and customer service? I mean, hardware, throw that out the window. But networking, any type of networking job, network admin, network engineer. Uh, if you want to be in networking, start getting your CCNA. Not really. I'm not going to answer what the best paying job is. You know, like they all pay pretty well. Uh, still looking through the chat here. Which country am I from? I'm from the United States of America. America. Team America. F yeah. Uh, pot limit. If you want to become AWS certified, what certification do I need to have before you get into that? You don't have to have any certification. You can just start right away. Azul. Are, am I currently doing any search or studying? Yes, I am. I, I think I put it in one of my last videos. Um, I'm going. I'm going through some. Uh, I'm going through the ethical hacker course on test out right now. So I'm getting geared up for the CEH potentially. Uh, but test out has their own certifications. I'm going through that that entire course. I'll be super super stoked about that. Hems J. You're a student doing your bachelor's in technology management. You work in customer service, but not in IT part-time. You think it's good to get CCNA directly or should you go for A plus after your bachelor's? Well, you're doing a degree for technology management. Um, the CCNA is, I mean, the CCNA quite honestly is one of the greatest certifications out there because uh, everybody is looking for the CCNA. Um, so at the CCNA is a great choice. The A plus is a great choice. Um, it, if you are looking to get into networking, obviously a CCNA. Everything else, A plus. A plus is always. I mean, those two certifications are, I think, like the most popular, and can help you know get into positions. So it's all about, it's all on you, bro. Oh my gosh! I finally, I finally caught up with the chat. I'm blown away by that. You guys are awesome, Alondra. What are good companies to work for if you want to go in? If you want to go into networking, uh, I mean, any type of organization that has you know uh, a large staff that utilize computers. There's no specific company; it's just any company that has a large uh, employee base. Ali, you're interested in doing the ethical hacking course. You want to look into what it covers. Uh, Send me a message on Facebook. Yes, join our Discord community to ask more questions, view resources, and talk with other people in the field. Thank you, Kev Runs on Duncan. That's a, a great advertisement point right there. Let's advertise something else, because I like to do that sometimes on occasion. You know, you guys are probably like, stop talking about this. Sorry, I have to talk about it. If you guys need help getting into IT, you have questions um, that, that need answers, right? And you're not sure on the best path to take to getting into IT. Check out the training course that I did, uh, www.itcq.tv, www.itcq.tv. How to get an entry level job in IT training course. I built this course uh, with the help of Allie, who's in the chat right now. She's very awesome. I appreciate her very, very much. Uh, this course will guide you uh, chapter by chapter into the, the, the ways to gain an advantage, right? And it's all about gaining an advantage when you're trying to get an entry-level job uh, in IT. So we talk about step-by-step, step, here's the things that you can do that will greatly help you. So this is completely unique. None of, um, I, I do have links to other YouTube videos that I've done um, on this course. But other than like just linking to those, uh, all of the material has never been seen before on this YouTube channel. Uh, the links to other YouTube videos I created are just additional resources for you guys. Um, so I, you know, definitely look into that. Let me let me pull something up here real quick. I think I can show you guys what it looks like. 
when you go into the course. So that would be helpful, right? Let's see. Preview website. No, I don't want to preview website. I want to go into the actual, like the back end here. Um, I think we got, I think we're good here. Um, I have to get going, actually. Something just came up. So, thank you guys for joining the chat today. I apologize for leaving abruptly, but I do appreciate you guys. And uh, check out the course, because it would be super awesome if you did. Uh, maybe try to do another live stream tomorrow and do the same thing. Ask me anything. Thanks for joining. Have a good day. Keep learning. Join the Discord server if you have more questions. That's all I got for you guys today. As always, take it easy.